Say your name and uh, where you're from. English, Russian, Icelandic? <laughs> All languages. <laughs> well, my name is Olga Genova and I'm from Russia. Well, before I came to Iceland, uh, I was studying university. It was my first year in university for uh, business economic. And then I took a short break, as I thought, and uh, came to Iceland. So I basically was studying. Um, first it was uh, for fun because my uncle used to work here in Iceland and uh, he invited me to come a couple of times before I moved and uh, there was just uh, trips what I really loved about. Um, I actually never planned to do it so I never planned to, to stay in Iceland or move currently over here. But somehow it's already almost 10 years I live here. <laughs> it's such a funny. It's like uh, some people want to move and they work on it and they are moving to another country and start new life. But uh, in my case, it was just uh, coming, loving, a little bit staying longer and a little bit longer and still a little bit longer. I never question myself like that, but uh, I really, if I go out of the country from Iceland to Russia, I, lo I love Russia and I miss uh, a lot, but I miss also Iceland and I feel like some kind of home here. So I don't really think I will move sometime, possibly. Um, Mostly about Iceland, I love uh, natural, natural wonders. Uh, but uh, I think it's people who really keep here. They're really friendly and nice. Uh, different between people here and in Russia, for example. Well, Russia it's quite big, and people in each city basically different. But what about my city? It's a very big city and very busy and the life is much faster there and you have to to get like uh, surviving there to get something and uh, but here it's more relaxing and quiet and really safe it's a perfect place for kids and old people <laughs> <laughs> well actually partying also <laughs> for few for few years past few years <coughs> I have been traveling around a lot around Iceland and um, I've been in many places in the caves and on the top of the glaciers and under the water and uh, my favorite place is in the middle of country a place called Askia. It's a crater volcano filled with the water where you can swim. That's my favorite place. Well, we have so good uh, internet connection here. <laughs> well, sometimes, but mostly no. Mostly, I don't feel uh, isolated. Uh, and uh, if you want to go, on a, you can always go. It's some kind of isolate from other countries, not we isolate from others. You know, uh, Iceland is the center of the universe. Icelanders say so. So, <laughs> uh, Icelanders and other people, um, it's a few types of Icelanders here living, uh, but most of them, what I feel like, I really love them because they are very open and they're always smiling. Even if you go for a fish store to buy fish, somehow they just smile to you and asking what fish you want. So it's a very friendly and kind people. 
and they care for each other and um, they love for they love the country they're really patriots and even they're moving out of the country they're always going back so it's some kind of um, Iceland that's just like one big family which stands for each other I'll say so Uh, what about midnight uh, sun? I found it uh, amazing. You just get good curtains and enjoy. And it's good about this thing. You can travel. You can travel in the night time or daytime. It doesn't matter. It's always bright. So I some kind of feel very comfortable with the uh, brightness all the time. But what about uh, winter time? It's depends weather. If it's snow and good weather, then it feels good. But if it's raining and windy, it's some kind of sometimes different, sometimes quite difficult. Uh, not really. We just uh, find something to do here. Many people do working, going and work out or running. So it's some kind of. Uh, if you start to feel depression, you definitely want to go and meet somebody go for the coffee house or go and work out in the gym. It helps. I don't know. I can't answer this question now because I still... Uh, I feel home here, but I never accept like, hey, I moved to Iceland. Now I live in Iceland. I always, some kind of my heart is uh, in Russia, but something keeps me, something really magical keeps me inside the country and all what I was going through I never once I adapt I want to go back I want to move and just leave everything some kind of like all Icelanders just go forward to it <laughs> is there anything else you want to say about Iceland something well, I wish Iceland have a better weather sometimes. <laughs> but other way, it's an amazing country and uh, I'm really in love with that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Funny.